This is a Delphia 11 sedan. It's about 11 meters, about 35 feet long. Dan refers to the fact that flat roof above the saloon, so that obviously is very good for inland for air draft purposes, but if you want a flybridge version, you can have it. And although this is basically the speed and the performance and so forth of this, suggests an inland boat, it is in fact a category B. So if you do want to take one of these offshore, you're not concerned about the performance, it'll certainly do that. And we'll talk about how fast it goes in a minute when we go on board. If we step on just here, we've got bathing platform down underneath this one. Like so, shore power goes in here. These are storage lockers that go back down underneath the cockpit seating. We've got covers on at the minute because <laughs> we can see the clouds here. But it's, uh, yeah, we're having a rather changeable day, I think is the best way to describe the weather here today. Cockpit is here. And in fact, what we've got here, so basically all these canopies here can come off. But given the blackness that's <laughs> over there, they're being left on very sensibly at the moment. And then underneath here, you've also got access to stern gear. You've also got water is down here, that kind of thing. So some of the equipment is down here, but from a storage point of view, that is excellent. Let's drop that back down and then this takes us through into the saloon. Now there's a big lift window here so this drops down and infills this section and then you have the sliding door that comes across and that closes that off completely. Battery switches are here as soon as you come in you can flick those on obviously light switches and that kind of stuff and then this is the saloon area. So galley is aft there's a draw fridge just down underneath there and then we've got the gas cooker hob drawers obviously you know the kind of thing a bit of storage about the place. <laughs> Tell we're at a boat show, we've got supplies. And then uh, a, a bit more going on up here. Extractor fan underneath there as well. Saloon area, or seating area I should say, is over here. We've got a sliding window, but you've also got roof hatchet blinds that come across. There we go. Side access door on this one as well, which is a very nice thing to have. And then you've got the double helm position here big vertical wheel look at that single engine on this one so bow and stern thrusters that makes life an awful lot easier and then obviously navigation screen some of the switch gear so bilge pumps and lights and wipers and that kind of stuff are there fusion hi-fi on this one and that is your main deck now let's head on forward it's very much home from home on here so there's some really big areas like for example this one is just a shower that doesn't share with the actual heads it's just a big comfortable shower room that's fantastic that's a really really good size biggest one i've ever seen i would say on a 35 foot boat if we come forward a little bit further that then is the toilet so completely separate and again very spacious and if we loop across to the other side cabin two is here double bed We've got storage, obviously, in places like this. <laughs> Full of gear at the moment. Big windows in here, too. You can see your whole windows and these windows as well. So a lot of light into here. And again, of course, blinds that drop down across these. Very nice. And then right up in the bow, owner's cabin. So double bed. And you can get right around this one, which is nice. And again, as you'd expect, bits of storage about the place like this. That one is a hanging locker. Storage here, storage here, storage here, usual kind of stuff. Big hole windows too, look at this. Of the Southampton Boat Show. There we go. <laughs> a huge cruise liner parked up there in Southampton Dock. Remarkable. More storage over here. And that, I think, concludes the tour of the lower deck. Let's head on back around. It has just got bits of storage under it, like this. And then, finally, while we're in this area, I will tell you about engines, or engine, I should say, because that is under the floor here. You need to remove the table that just lifts off and the table legs lift out, but we're going to use a little bit of movie magic to edit that away. This is the Yanmar 150 horsepower diesel engine. In fact, they do several engine options of which this is the largest of the diesels. There's also an electric option, actually. So if you want electric power, you can have that. I believe that will run for about 10 hours on a full charge. 
This one, you're talking a top speed of uh, river friendly nine knots or just over and then cruising really anything between sort of three and seven knots. So it really is designed for inland use really and, and coastal use. It's low speed, river friendly cruising. Range, probably about 300 miles. And that is about what we can tell you about that. Right, let's magic that one back down. Okay, so that is magically back in place. Again, the last thing to do is to take a little turn around the decks. And we're going to go out this way for that. That's interesting, what's in there? Oh, I think the canopies, yeah, the canopies slide into there. Look at that on the track. That's neat. Okay, big wide side decks. That's that side door from the helm position. Come right up onto the top here. So this is this big flat deck. You've got the sliding hatches here that you can see. As I say, there is a flybridge version. And we come right around onto the bow. This is nice. It's a nice lounging area. If you're underway, that is a great place to be. You've got little tables here to put your drinks on. And then electric anchor winch up here on the bow. There we go. Smart little boat, isn't it? Little boat. <laughs> I spent too long in can. It's a 35 footer. It's loads bigger than mine. Brilliant. Let's come back down this side. And that is. Let's have a look from over here. About the size of that. So there you go. Huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching it. But let me know what you think of that one. And we'll catch you on one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.